Gary here for Naples Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, and I'm running all over Southwest Florida to find out why Naples has it. He's treated us nice the last nine cars we bought from him. They don't treat me like I'm young, they treat me like any other customer. There you have it. NaplesHasIt.com. Naples Hello football fans and welcome to the Prep Zone Playbook postseason edition. This is the first round of the high school football playoffs and we have seven teams who are competing for state championships. Because it's the postseason, we're going to make this a supersized edition of the playbook. Instead of our regular five things to watch for this week, I'm going to touch on all seven games rapid fire style to get you ready for the playoffs. So let's jump on in. Here's what to watch for Friday in the first round of the state tournament. Starting off in Class 7A, Bradenton Braden River is at Gulf Coast. Gulf Coast has never won a playoff game, but the Sharks also had never won a district championship or hosted a regional game until this season. Gulf Coast has won six straight games, but Braden River is ranked number five in the state. Sticking in 7A, South Fort Myers travels to Venice. Now the Wolfpack are making their ninth playoff appearance in the past ten seasons. However, it's just the third time they'll have to travel in the first round and the first time since 2011. Venice is undefeated and ranked second in 7A. Going down to 6A, Lehigh is at Naples. Naples easily has an advantage in experience here. The Golden Eagles are making their seventh straight trip to the postseason and they've won eight straight first round games. They also won a regional championship last season while Lehigh is making its first playoff appearance in five years. In 6A, Baron Collier is at Fort Myers. The Cougars ended one playoff drought but would love to snap another. Baron Collier is in the postseason for the first time in four years, but the team hasn't won a regional game since 1998. In 5A, Immokalee is on the road at Wachula Hardy. Both these teams are quick and athletic, but they play much different styles. Immokalee averages 40 points a game and can score in a variety of ways. Quarterback Nate Betancourt has thrown for 1,100 yards, while running back Fred Green has rushed for over 1,000. Hardy, on the other hand, wins with defense, giving up just 10.4 points per game. Moving down to 2A, First Baptist is hosting Delray Beach Village Academy. First Baptist beat Village Academy on its way to a regional championship last year. Now, even though Village Academy only has three victories, the Tigers have played a challenging schedule against East Coast teams. Sticking in 2A, Community School hits the road and goes to Champignot Catholic. The Seahawks are making their second playoff appearance in program history. Their first was last year when they lost on the road in the first round. Champignot Catholic is ranked third in Class 2A. For full previews of every single game, go to naplesnews.com slash prepzone. And don't forget to follow us on Friday night when we'll have live updates from every single playoff game. As long as we have teams that are playing, we'll keep doing the playbook. So as long as one of these teams wins, I'll see you here next week.